cleanairgardening.com. Hi, I'm George, and I'm going to show you how to adjust the height, the mowing height, on the Scott's Classic Reel Mower. Now, this mower is a great mower if you want to go anywhere from one inch to three inches of cutting height, um, but it comes factory set to go from two inches to three inches. To make those adjustments, all you have to do is use this knob in the back. If you want to go lower, what you'll have to do, though, is remove the hubcap and make an internal adjustment. We're going to show you how to do that today. Some of the tools that you'll need include a socket wrench with a 13 millimeter attachment, an adjustable wrench, needle nose pliers, and a flathead screwdriver. Start by picking up your flathead screwdriver and removing the hubcap. This is just a simple panel that you can flick right off. There's an E-ring holding the uh, wheel assembly on. To get the E-ring off, put the corner of your screwdriver in there, use some leverage to just lift that up and away. Put it aside because you're going to need that to put it back on. Then pull the wheel towards you and remove it off. On the side here, this screw is the one that holds the wheel assembly in place. In order to remove it, you'll need to take your adjustable screwdriver, put it down inside, and grab a hold of the bolt on the inside. Then take your socket wrench and turn it counterclockwise. It'll be very difficult to get going at first, but after you get it moving, it'll turn pretty freely. Be careful not to remove it too far because you don't want to remove this gear assembly on the inside. When it's loose, go ahead and remove that. That'll drop to the floor. You can remove the bolt. Now, on the side of your reel mower, there are three different settings. The far right or top setting will go from two inches to three inches. The middle setting will go from one and a half inches to two and a half inches. And the bottom setting will go from one inches to two inches. To make your adjustments, just move the plate up and down between those different settings. We're going to go for the middle setting right now. Press the gear firmly in place. Then keep the retaining bolt, press it through. You can start putting it back on with just your hand. It doesn't require any special uh, tools at first, but be careful not to catch yourself on the blades. We're going to go ahead and reach in from below to do that. To put it back on, just turn clockwise. When it starts getting difficult, go ahead and pick back up your wrenches, hold it in place, flip the socket setting, and turn clockwise until it starts getting really tight. Okay, there, that's on tight. Then, put the wheel back on. Compress it down. And you're going to need those needle nose pliers to put your E-ring back in place. Just put it gently over the bolt and squeeze down. You'll hear it click into place. And put your hubcap back on. You'll need to do this on both sides of the mower so you can adjust it down to whatever height you want it to do. It's pretty straightforward. You just do the exact same process on the other wheel and then you're done. After you've got the height set, you are ready to mow.